Hello, how are you? How na day? It's been such a long time. My name is Demila De Azan. Like you tell how excited I am to be back on YouTube. Like this is the first time I'm filming in year 2024. The last time I filmed was in December 2024, uh, 2023 rather, and I haven't filmed since then. So I'm super, super excited i'm happy whatever whatever adjective or you want to call it i i feel very very happy and i'm grateful to be here a lot of things have happened so now that i'm back i'm going to try to be more consistent guys and i need you guys to like motivate me and for everyone that checked up on me while i was away uh, one of my friends sent me a message stimulated you've been too quiet what's going on i've had and then i have a few people also call me what's happening well life has been happening and it's been happening for good yes because we believe that everything that happens to a believer happens for good so how far how not kilo shelly what is happening i hope you guys are doing very very well anyway i'm back yeah i'm back <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Demi Lade. Guys, so today we'll be talking about a very, very interesting topic because this is something that we'd all experience at one point in time or another. As human beings, you would experience it and it is called burnout. Yeah, burnout. So we'll be talking about burnout and how to start over and get your life back on track. So burnout is something that you would experience. Like I mentioned earlier, you either experience it as an adult or as a teenager, you would experience it. Some people experience burnout in, the, in their studies. Some experience burnout on their jobs. I don't know, burnout. Do you experience burnout in relationships or marriage? Yeah, I think people do. Sometimes you just want to take a break from everything and so it's okay it's, it's something that happened to everyone at some point or another so on today's episode we'll be talking about how to start all over again how to start over and get your life back on track so i have five different tips that can help you to start because this is something that i've also that i also experienced so last year towards the end of last year i noticed that i started to feel numb like it was as if i was floating it was as if I was floating literally and then after that feeling after that phase I started to experience burnout so things that would usually normally would give me joy things that I enjoyed doing I suddenly didn't want to do them again I suddenly didn't want to do them again although I didn't even know immediately that I was experiencing burnout it took me a while before I knew that I was experiencing burnout but as soon as I knew that okay oh this is what I'm experiencing I started to make um, some changes. So these are these are the things that we're going to be talking about today. Now to the state of emotional, physical, and um, mental exhaustion caused by excessive and prolonged stress. It occurs when you feel overwhelmed emotionally, emotionally drained, and unable to meet constant demands. So it's a state. It's actually a state of emotional and mental, emotional, physical, and mental exhaustion. So it's caused by excessive and prolonged stress. Yeah, there's good stress, there's bad stress. We actually need stress in our lives. But when those stress become excessive and they become prolonged, it's not meant to be stress, is not something you're supposed to experience for a long time. It's something that should just that you should just experience for a short time and then go back to your normal life. But if it's something that drags for too long, it could lead to burnout. So burnout is a normal thing. It's not normal per se, but it's something that we would all experience in our lives as an individual. So let's say, so now somebody might be thinking, Tim Lady, okay, now I'm experiencing burnout. What do I do? What do I need to change? Because you can you can't just continue to live your life like that. So how do I start all over again? Which is what we're going to be talking about on today's episode. So five tips here that can help you to start all over again. So if you see me looking down, it's because I have my notes written here and then I may be picking one or two things from the notes. So number one thing will be change your environment. This is very, very important. Change your environment. Our environment has a huge impact on our lives. It affects our life. You might not know the kind of people that you surround yourself with. It definitely affects you. So if you're constantly around negative people, my darling, 
and you are the only positive person it's just a matter of time you become negative like that so change your environment changing of environment might not just mean changing your association alone it could even mean changing your physical environment so let's say for example now okay you are this job you notice that you're feeling exhausted you're constantly exhausted you do you're not motivated you don't want to you don't even feel like coming to work every day so have you just have have you thought of taking some days off work yeah you might want to consider that why don't you just step away from that environment and you don't have to even travel out for those people that can afford to travel out oh why not take advantage of that you can go for vacation but if you can't travel out of the country because we all know what the economy is saying if you can't travel out of the of the country you might want to consider staycation staycation is when you travel when you just go away for a few days in your area so there are several hotels around here you can even do an airbnb just go with if you want to go alone fine but if you want to also go with a few friends you can just go just change your environment you feel that you see that you come back feeling a lot better than how you felt before you went for that so that's very very important you might want to change your environment which was something i did um, i think first quarter of this year yeah first quarter of this year i took some days off work and i just went to relax to unwind and i came back looking super refreshed super energized and another so it's very very important then number two will be simplify your daily routine some of us have one mil one hundred to do list how now how you cannot finish it because even the the, the whole thought of that to do list would even overwhelm you so why don't you just simplify it if it's only three things you can achieve today write it down simplify it your daily routine too you cannot continue to do 10 step makeup every day no it's not sustainable it's not why do you need to do foundation <laughs> baking and everything to work you'll be exhausted spending two hours to make up before you go to work it's, it's too much time so might need to simplify some of those things that you do every day and if you need to delegate why not delegate some things that you need to outsource it's something you should also consider too so Ensure that you simplify your daily routine. This will help with feeling constantly tired, constantly unmotivated, or constant um, exhaustion. So simplify your daily routine. This will help. It will go a long way. Then number three will be unplug from social media. See, I don't know how social media has become unsafe space, so to say. Like I remember back then when I just started Insta when I just started um, using Instagram. Like Instagram was about pictures, about people's good moments and everything. But now people put all kind of things on 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 Instagram. Like before, there's no how you be on Instagram that you won't see one start story, and in a way to just trigger something in you. So you need to learn how to unplug. It's not safe to when you wake up in the morning and then the first thing is you're on Instagram or you're in, on one blog. It's obviously going to mess up with your day. And if you continue consuming those kind of content, unhealthy content, at the end of the day, it's going to affect you. If you need to put a timer on your phone on how long you want to be able to access some um, social media or or your screen time you need to we all need to we need that discipline it's not only our children it's not only kids that need that screen time screen time limit even as adults we need it it will help exercise and eat better so this is very very important to like exercise so study shows that when you work out when you do some form of exercise it releases and a certain kind of hormone called dopamine so dopamine is a feel good hormone so have you noticed that every time you work out you just start to feel good about yourself you feel very energized you feel you feel good about yourself so i think it's something that you want to indulge in because the better you feel about yourself the more interested you'll be in doing other things that makes you happy it will also help with um, clearing all of those um overwhelming thoughts that you may have in your head so exercise is very very important then also eat right eat right there's some certain food that once you eat it's like that you know you'll be dull throughout the day and if you continue to experience that kind of dullness it's going to affect you on the long run so i'm not a dietitian neither am i a nutritionist but some things that some of the tips that i've done 
that have helped me and now i'm happy that i'm in a better state of mind about today's episode so guys thank you for watching let me know what you feel about today's content if you want me to share more content that is um related to this more real life stories or real life topics so let me know guys so thank you so much see you next episode don't forget to like and also to subscribe to my youtube channel for more content like this and please feel free to share with your girlfriend have a beautiful day bye